Hello and welcome to Kutan Crafts. Today I'm going to show you how to make these adorable little snowman, crocheted snowman ornaments for Christmas. These little guys stand about three and a half, four inches tall or so. They are crocheted in one piece for the body. He's got a crocheted little scarf there and a crocheted top hat. These are relatively simple to do. They only take about maybe a half hour or so to complete one of them. So let me show you what supplies you need and then we can get the tutorial started. Of course, you're going to need some yarn. So for his body, I chose to use Karen's Simply Soft Party in white. I don't know how well you can see this here. Uh, it is a worsted weight yarn, and it's got this little iridescent metallic thread running through it. Uh, gives it just a little bit of sparkle, so when it hangs on your Christmas tree, the light can bounce off of it. It kind of gives the appearance of glitter, but without having the mess of glitter. For his scarf, I used Karen Simply Soft Party in red. There you can see that metallic thread just a little bit better there. And then for his top hat, I used Karen Simply Soft Party in black. And I think, hopefully, you can really pick that up, the metallic thread that runs through that. Now for the eyes, the mouth, and the buttons, uh, you can use buttons if you want to. I decided to use 3D puffy paint, the stuff that you used to use for you know painting t-shirts and sweatshirts and so forth. Uh, I decided to use this because it is easy. I didn't want to sew on buttons and all that other stuff. You could sew on buttons if you wanted to. Uh, you could also glue on those little black uh, little pom-poms, if you will. Uh, for his nose, I used the 3D paint in orange. And then for on his hat, right there for the little holly leaves and berries, I used red and green fabric paint as well. Uh, you'll also need some thread and a needle to sew his hat on. You will also need scissors and fiber fill, of course, to stuff your little snowman with. And finally, a crochet hook, and this is a size H. So, with all that out of the way, now we can get started on our tutorial. All right, to get this started, I'm going to be using a magic loop. Um, you could use a chain one or chain two and then do all your single crochets in the beginning chain. I just find a magic loop much easier. So I've got the end of my working yarn in my hand here and I'm just gonna wrap around my middle finger twice, set up to crochet. If you turn your hand over, you will see these two loops right here. You wanna insert your hook underneath both of those like that. Yarn over, pull through the loop and chain one to secure that and I'm just going to do six single crochets in this magic loop. So we got one, two, three, four, five, and six. And if at ever I am going too fast for you, uh, feel free to pause the video to catch up. Uh, but I'm just going to take my end here and I'm going to give it a gentle pull and see that loop, that loop that's closing, getting smaller there. Before you pull that all the way tight, you want to grab a hold of it and pull it so the other loop closes up. Make sure it's nice and tight and then grab your end here, pull tight and your thread is secured and you've got your first round there. I'm going to be joining all these rounds. You don't have to if you don't want to. Uh, it's not mandatory or uh, even necessary that you do it. Uh, but I just like the look of it better if I join. I, I can also keep track of my rounds better. So if you don't want to join, uh, be sure to use a yarn marker. So I'm going to count back one, two, three, four, five, six, and I am going to put my hook into both top loops of that beginning crochet, maybe. I crocheted this a little tight, so you just wanna slip stitch there and chain one, and that is your first round. Now for round two, all you're gonna do is do two single crochets in each stitch all the way around. So there is stitch two in the first stitch. Go on to the next stitch do two single crochets in that stitch and two in my last stitch 
So I should have 12 stitches here. You want to count back to your 12th stitch, which I know is right here. Go ahead and join that if you're joining rounds. If not, put in a marker so you can know where the beginning of the round is. Now for round three, what you want to do is in this first stitch here, do two single crochets, which is an increase. In the next stitch, you want to do one single crochet. The next stitch, you want to increase. So do two single crochets in that same stitch. Next stitch, just one single crochet all the way around. This will be my last increase. So two single crochets in the same stitch. Last stitch there, do one single crochet and join your round. And I am crocheting this very tight today for some reason. Join and chain one. Now for round four here, I think this is round four. Yes, you want to do an increase in the first stitch. Let's see if I can loosen up my stitches here a little bit. Increase in your first stitch, so do two single crochets in the same stitch. And in each of the next two stitches, you will do one single crochet in each. Then in the next stitch, you want to increase. So one and two. Next stitch, one single crochet. Next stitch, one single crochet. And you'll do that all the way around. These last two single crochets and of course join the round. That completes round four. Now round five, six, seven, and eight is all pretty simple. All you're gonna do is do a single crochet in each stitch all the way around. At this point you should have 24 stitches, which I do because I just counted them. Is that a chain? Yeah. So all I'm gonna do is do a single crochet all the way around and when I get back at the beginning of each round, I will join the round. Uh, like I said, if you don't want to join the rounds, you don't have to. It's all personal preference. Uh, but I like the look of joining those rounds. Now that I've got round eight done, you can see that it's kind of like a little bowl shape and his lower body is starting to take shape here. So I'm going to go ahead and move on to round 9. Now round 9, 10, and 11 are going to be decrease rounds because we want to make this into a ball shape so it looks like a snowball. So to start this off, I'm going to decrease. And in order to decrease, what I'm going to do here is zoom in so you can see a little bit better here. Hopefully you can see this. And what I'm going to do is put my hook into the first stitch right here and yarn over and pull through a loop and in the next stitch before I complete this single crochet I'm going to insert my hook into the next stitch yarn over pull through a loop so I will have three loops on my hook yarn over and pull through all three loops there and that is a decrease stitch uh, for this round nine you then want to move on and do a single crochet in each of the next two stitches. The next stitch will be a decrease, so insert your hook into that stitch, yarn over, yarn over and pull through a loop, move on to the next stitch, insert your hook, yarn over, pull through a loop, yarn over and pull through all three loops on your hook like that and then do a single crochet in each of the next two stitches and that is going to be our decrease round for round nine and you want to do that all the way around and two and then you want to join again if you are joining 
Now for round 10, you're going to do a decrease over these first two stitches. And this time you're only going to do one single crochet. In the next stitch, do one. Next two stitches you will decrease over. And a single crochet. And do this all the way around. This will be the last decrease in this round. And then a single crochet in the next stitch. And join the round. Chain one. And this is where it gets kind of tricky because you it's going to get small and you're not going to be able to put your finger in there. So I just like to fold this in half. And let me zoom in. So you can see what I'm doing here. Now what you're going to do is decrease all the way around. Right now you have 12 stitches, or you should have 12 stitches here. I'm going to take this tail and poke it in here. You should have 12 stitches around here. All you're going to do is decrease all the way around down to 6 stitches. So decrease these first two stitches. And like I said, your finger's not going to be able to get in there, so just lay it down flat here and go in like this and decrease and do this all the way around. And this right here will be the last decrease here. And you want to join it to that first decrease in the round, chain one, and there you can see what I'm talking about, maybe, how small that hole is. There's no way you're going to be able to get your finger in there. So this is his lower body. Now what we need to do is work on his head. So we've already got our six stitches here because we've decreased down to six stitches which means that we've already got those first six stitches there. We're going to work this the same way as the lower body, uh, but we're not going to do quite as many rounds. So what I'm going to do is do two single crochets in each of these stitches all the way around. So I'm just going to increase all the way around. Now I'm back at the beginning of the round, and I should have 12 stitches here. I'm not going to take the time to count. I trust myself. So I'm going to join my round here. And I'm going to zoom out here just a little bit. And now we are on round 13, I do believe. So I'm going to do an increase, which is two single crochets in the first stitch. Next stitch, do one single crochet. I'm starting to crochet tight again. Next stitch you will do an increase, so two single crochets in the same stitch. Next stitch, one single crochet all the way around. And the last stitch here, single crochet, join my round. And now we are on, I believe, round 14. Uh, 14 and 15, all you're going to do is single crochet all the way around. There should be 18 stitches here, which I just counted, and there are. We're not going to do any increases or decreases, just simply single crochet in each stitch all the way around. So I got 14 and 15, rounds 14 and 15 done. Now I'm going to move on to round 16, which is the beginning of our decreasing rounds. So I'm going to do it just like I did with the lower body. I'm going to decrease over the first two stitches here. And then in the next stitch, do a single crochet. Do a decrease over the next two stitches. In the next stitch, do one single crochet. And I'm going to do that all the way around. Basically, all we're doing is we're decreasing from 18 stitches 
and they row below down to 12. And the final single crochet. Join the round. Do your chain one. And now is the time that you are going to stuff your little snowman. So grab yourself some of your, oops, sorry for bumping you there, your fiber fill stuffing or whatever. If you've got yarn scraps, this would be a great way to use up your yarn scraps. Uh, if you've got scrap fabric, go ahead and use that. Uh, I don't suggest using rice or beans or anything like that because of the food issue and these are probably going to be stored 11 months out of the year so uh, probably not a good idea to use foodstuffs but all you're going to do is stuff the fiber fill in there and then stuff push it down into the lower body once the lower body is nice and securely stuffed or firmly stuffed then you can go ahead and stuff the upper body or the head if you will so i'm just going to go along keep Stuffing this fiber fill in here. This doesn't take a whole lot of fiber fill. Thank goodness. And once you get his head firmly stuffed as well, you don't have to go real crazy here on his head. Uh, we'll get to that in a minute. I put my hook back into that stitch there. And I'm going to finish up this last round, which is round 17. And all I'm going to do is decrease all the way around. So I'm going to take these 12 stitches and decrease them down to six. So across these first two stitches I will do a decrease. Next two stitches I will also do a decrease. And this is kind of hard. Don't get your fiber fill up on your hook because your hook's just going to pull it through. Um, so kind of put your finger back there and protect that fiber fill back there because you don't want fiber fill poking out of his head. He's going to look like an old man with a bunch of white hairs growing out of the top of his head. Not that there's anything wrong with that. And this is my last decrease. Get that in there just like that. And see so you will have a little opening right there. Go ahead and take just a little bit more fiber fill and stuff that in. Make sure that his head is nice and firmly stuffed. You don't want to overstuff this because it's just going to pull your um, stitches apart. Uh, and if you've crocheted this tightly like I have, because I tend to crochet amigurumi really tight for some reason. Um, I forgot what I was saying. Anyway, then you want to Join your round here. Hopefully I can get my hook into this stitch here. It's kind of hard to see. All right, there we go. And I'm just going to do a slip stitch here. And pull that tight. And cut your yarn here, maybe. There we go. Pull your loose end through just like that and then what I like to do is stick my needle or my hook right up there grab a hold of this end and pull this end through pull it through just enough so you can't see it go ahead and trim the end off because we are now done with this if you've got if your little snowman has a little fiber fill beard here just take the other end the dull end of your crochet hook and shove his hair back inside of him because we don't need that and there is your little snowman all right i'm going to work on the scarf next scarf is super easy i'm just going to do a chainless foundation if you watched my uh waffle stitch scarf on my other channel you will have already seen this and already know how to do it uh all you're going to do is create yourself a slip stitch right or slip knot right there and you're going to chain two let me zoom in so you can see this so you've got two chains hanging off of your hook here you want to insert your hook into your first chain go through two bars there yarn over and pull up just like you're doing a single crochet in that first chain 
but instead you're going to do a chain one and then you're going to finish your single crochet yarn over and pull through those two loops right there and there you've got your first single crochet chainless foundation you're going to do 25 of these so let's show you that again you're going to put your hook through two bars of that chain one that you just made in the previous stitch yarn over and pull through a loop you're going to chain one see that right there that is a chain one yarn over pull through two again insert your hook yarn over pull through like that make a chain one yarn over pull through two so basically all you're doing is you're making a chain and you are doing your single crochet at the same time uh, this is a very nice and easy way to do this if you don't want to do this you don't have to you can just do a chain 26 turn that last chain will be your um, turning chain and then just do single crochet all the way across so you'll have 25 single crochets but I'm going to go ahead and finish this off we've got three here we've got 22 more to go and finally 25 go ahead and yarn over and pull through and cut your end pull it through like that and there is your chainless foundation and this is his scarf now I'm going to make a little fringe for him. Basically all I'm going to do is wrap the yarn three times around three fingers, just like this. Go ahead and cut there. I'm going to go through the end here, and on the end of his little scarf, put my hook there. These three wraps here, or these three loops right there that were above or on my finger. Just going to grab those, pull those through, and pull all of these through here, through those three loops to secure, just like that. And this will be the fringe. I'm going to go ahead and trim this to three quarters of an inch to an inch. And I went through and separated these yarn ends so it was a little more frizzy of an end and you'll go ahead and do that on the other end as well and once you get both ends this is what it will look like when you get both of those done then all I did was wrap it around his neck and do a simple tie like that nothing real fancy there so there is his little scarf and now we can start working on his hat all right now for the hat I actually just recorded this hat uh, I changed out the background to a white background and used my black yarn and you could not see anything that I was doing so I'm gonna go ahead and re-record this and I'm gonna use white for this so you can see what the heck I am doing I'm gonna start off just like I did with the snowman body by doing a magic loop wrap the yarn around my finger twice stick my needle or hook underneath those first two stitches or two wraps yarn over pull through and chain one to secure that and I'm going to do six single crochets in this magic loop so this will be number three maybe number three four five and six again take your dead end there and pull until you see that loop closing grab the one that is closing to close up the other loop pull your dead end and there's your magic loop be sure and get that dead end yarn out of the way so that way you don't start working with it go back to your first stitch and close this up join you around here maybe I can do this all right there we go chain one did that split on me yes it did all right chain one and for round two all you're going to do is increase all the way around by doing 
two single crochets in each stitch all the way around. Until you get back at the beginning, go ahead and close this up. Join your round here. For rounds three, four, five, and six, you're going to do single crochet all the way around. You're not going to increase or decrease. However, on round three, this beginning round, um, you want to turn this or you want the stitches to lay exactly 90 degrees from this. So in order to achieve that, you're going to single crochet in the back loops only of your stitches. So see that little, I don't know how well you can see that or not. You've got two stitches, it's the back, or two loops there, it's through the back loop only. And I'm just going to single crochet all the way around. And now we're going to join, go ahead and join using both loops of that first stitch, chain one, and you can see there as we get this going, you'll have a nice sharp point there on the top of his hat. But for rounds four, five, and six, I'm just going to single crochet all the way around using both loops, just like we did for the body of our Stomian. All right, so got round six done, and here you can see the nice sharp point on his top hat there. It almost looks like a thimble here, uh, but you definitely want this exact shape, so that's what we're going for. Now, for round seven, what you're going to do is increase, uh, but on this round you're going to work in the front loops only. So just go through the front loops because now we are making the brim of the hat and we want it to stick outwards from there. So what I'm going to do is in this first stitch, using the front loop only, go in and increase. Do two single crochets in that first stitch. Next stitch, we will do one single crochet. Next stitch, two. One and two. Next stitch, one single crochet. All the way around. And the last stitch and join this round and for the eighth and final round what you're going to do is increase in the first stitch so do two single crochets and then do one single crochet in each of the next two stitches so there's the first and the second single crochets next stitch you will do an increase of one and two stitches in the same stitch. Do one single crochet in each of the next two. One and two. And do this all the way around. And then you want to join in the first round like so. Pull through. You will trim your thread and cut it and then go ahead and weave in your ends. But there is his little top hat. Sorry, that's not in focus there. But there is his little top hat, only yours will be in black. So now what you will want to do is assemble your snowman. Uh, basically, it's not a whole lot of assembling going on here. All you're gonna do is take your top hat, yours will be black, of course, and you want to sew that onto his head. Uh, you can either do it straight on or you can do it at an angle. I like to do mine at an angle. It just gives a little bit more personality to our snowman. And then you can go ahead and use your puffy paint here. Uh, use the black to draw or to paint on his eyes and his mouth. And I will show you one that I did here. I just did two dots for his eyes, five small dots and a smiley face for his uh, mouth there and did three larger dots for his buttons here. If you wanted to sew actual buttons on, you could do that. However, you need to do that before you stuff him and close him up like that. Um, but yeah, I just use black puffy paint here, and the secret is to do two coats of this. Uh, the first coat is actually gonna soak into the yarn a little bit, so just do small dots here, and then when that's dry in three to four hours, you can go back and put on larger dots and that will actually stick up to make it look more like lumps of coal, if you will. 
uh, for his nose I used orange this is actually three coats I did one dot of the orange then let that dry put another dot on top of it so it looks like what the buttons down here look like and then finally when that was dry I put another dot on and just pulled it up and that gave me the pointy look so it looks like a carrot like that I don't know how well you can see that uh, and then finally I did two little uh, holly leaves and three holly berries uh, and then you want to insert a hanger up here on top so you can hang him on your tree but there you go that is how i made crocheted snowman ornaments for christmas this year i hope you guys enjoy so thanks so much for watching and we will see you next time